Now ice cream, I think, does taste better in the summer, don't you think? Certainly when it opens up, we're waiting for it. Putting smiles on faces for their favorite ice cream. At Dairy King in Plymouth, time is measured not in years, but in seasons. First opened in 1950. And at the small ice cream shop on Main Street. This is an institution. The number of seasons are really adding up. We're going on 69 years here, and there's only been the three owners. It was almost 50 years when I stepped into the picture, and it was kind of my job not to screw things up. Michael Hurley and family have been providing that taste of summer and guarding recipes worked out by the original owner, including a turtle sundae. We haven't changed a thing. It's always been the same hot fudge, same caramel, buttered, lightly salted pecans. And a house-made creamsicle twist. The orange is a homemade recipe that also came with the business. If you combine it with the vanilla side, it's just an amazing creamsicle. It's a staple of the town. On a warm summer night in Plymouth, Dairy King can serve over a thousand customers. The two creamsicles. And working here can be a community and family tradition. My younger brother works here now, he's 16. There's a lot of siblings, cousins, neighbors, we're all related somehow. Many employees started working here in high school and work all the way through their college years. First thing I look forward to when I come home from school, I'm like, okay, I gotta go get a cone from Dairy King. Like that's when you know summer's here. It's not that Dairy King is that much different than other local ice cream stands. It's the fact that it's so much the same. It's what you expect on a beautiful summer night. This is the way ice cream is. It kind of brings families together. They're bringing their kids where you know, they got their ice cream. Everybody comes through here at least once. Small ice cream store in a, in a small town. Thanks for coming. <laughs>